When working in rehabilitation, it's often necessary to gain an accurate and objective measure of joint range of movement. This ensures that we can monitor patient improvement, deterioration, or just see if their range is within normal limits. To accurately measure joint range of movement, physiotherapists and sports therapists can use a goniometer. This is ultimately a large protractor, which allows the practitioner to obtain an objective measurement of joint range of movement. Goniometers have three main components. The axis, or centre point of the goniometer, which is placed over the axis of the joint, the stationary arm, which remains static, and the movable arm, which follows the limb. The therapist can then compare the start position of the movement with the end position of the movement and take a reading measured in degrees. The start position for the goniometer will vary depending on the joint being measured, hence why there are different values around the outside of the goniometer. For example, if we're measuring shoulder flexion, the movable and stationary arms will start together and the reading will be measured from zero here to, for example, 120 here. With the knee, the goniometer would start with the stationary and movable arms pointing in opposite directions. And therefore, the knee flexion measurement would be from zero here to, for example, 120 degrees, which is here. With the ankle, we may start with the zero position at 90 degrees and therefore record, for example, 10 degrees of dorsiflexion or 10 degrees of plantar flexion from this point. It is therefore important that you're familiar not only with the start point for the measurements, but also which scale on the gometer you'll be using. Otherwise, when you record your measurements, they'll be inaccurate. Goniometers have been shown to have high intra rater reliability. That means that if the same person is using the goniometer, they are very likely to get similar measurements when repeated. They do, however, have relatively poor inter rater reliability, meaning that if three people were to measure the same person's range, they're likely to get slightly different values. So whilst goniometers can be a good objective tool, they're not perfect, and it's important to make sure that we account for this when we are measuring. To learn more about goniometry, check out our clinical measurement playlist at the link below and subscribe to our channel for more content.